cutters, we got something new in the mail today. This is a robot vacuum cleaner that is on par, supposedly with Roomba, but it would be like a Roomba vacuum alternative. It's Mushu. Addie's gonna come, maybe she's gonna go check out the box. We're gonna check out the box. So we're gonna review this over the next four to six weeks. My sister, we're at my sister's house. It's going to be product reviewed over here because she has a Roomba. I had a Roomba, I ended up getting rid of it because I found that I preferred to use like a stick vacuum and my sister has kept her Roomba and likes it. And so I thought it would be a good test to you know compare the two. So that's why I wanted it at my sister's house. And so it's called the MT720. This is how it comes. It's pretty fancy so far. So I'm gonna unpack all this and then I'll share with you what we discovered. So it appears to have a charging dock. I mean, all so far very similar to what I experienced with the Roomba when I had it. And then it also has the little brushes that help, you know, to pick things up um, on the floor. I haven't figured out quite yet how to install those. And then this is fun. This is different than the model of Roomba I had, but there's a little remote control that tells you, you know, or instructs it on where to go, which is fun. And it also supposedly has an app that works with it. Looks like there's an extra filter. Oh yeah. So that's nice too. They send an extra filter for you to use. They send you four of the little brushes. So you get extras of those as well, which is a nice thing. Obviously with any electronic, you want to plug it in first. So it's got the charging dock and then an AC adapter that you plug in on the side here. And then you know that it's charging because it talks to you and tells you. This is kind of cool too. It has this little brush and then there's like a, a blade right there. So I would imagine that would help like cut through hair or you know get debris out, something like that. Um, if I had kids at home though, I'm not sure I'd leave that brush in there. I'd probably take it out just to make sure that they weren't going to mess with it. But you can see now it's charging because that blue light, the power button is blinking that it's charging. And then it says to read the instructions before using the product. I think they screwed up here. It made it war wearing, not warning. I think once it's like, you know, charged or whatever, you can remove this film, which is there probably just to protect the stuff underneath. But here's here's where all the debris will go this is where it's all collected and then you can just dump it out and then the filter helps you know as it's collecting it filter it so very similar to the Roomba at this point um we'll see how that goes and these these brush guys I don't want to jeopardize that at all so I'm gonna make sure I have an even pull they just pull off like that which is super nice so I remember on the Roomba I had, the screw. Yeah, there's a screw. So I really like that. This one came bent from how it was in the box. So we'll see if it still like picks up hair and, and all that good stuff. The Mushu has several different features and benefits. So I wanted to run through them while you watched our kind of initial cleaning of it. Also wanted to tell you and keep this in mind that Amy's cats, she has two ragdoll cats that are six years old, are very used to the Roomba and she also has a dog that just appeared. Oh, a one-year-old German short-haired pointer. So all three of her animals are used to robotic vacuums because of having the Roomba. The Mushu has an 1800 PA powerful suction. I don't know what PA stands for, but for those watching that understand that stuff, I wanted to mention that. It's super thin and very quiet. That is one thing I noticed from the get-go was how quiet it is compared to what I know of the Roomba. It has a long surface life and runs for two hours. It also has intelligent remote planning, an app remote control, and a Wi-Fi connection. So I'm gonna show you later on in this video, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, downloaded the app and we started going through it. So you'll see that it has multiple cleaning modes and offers scheduling as well. It will automatically recharge itself when it returns to the dock. Oh, shoot. And it also has gyroscope navigation. I'm not really sure what that is. 
but for those interested in robotic vacuums, maybe you've researched that and you know that. It's gonna go right by Addy. Almost. <laughs> Good girl, Addy. Is it nice to have a respectful vacuum, Addy? <laughs> My brother-in-law downloaded the app because this is in his home. So tell us what you've discovered. It was pretty easy to set up. You just do plus device, search for the device that you have, connect it through Wi-Fi, and then it, it automatically connects. So this is our device. Now you can just click on the device. This kind of seems to be like a map of where it's cleaned. Um, oh, in your home? Yeah. And then there's a bunch of, I guess the red dot is the, is where it is right now. There's a bunch of different cleaning options. So you can do smart, which is just an auto clean. Wall follow. When it gets to a wall, it'll actually clean along the wall. Um, spiral, it just cleans in a circle. Which I guess would be good if you had like a, a spot where you drop. And then charging base, so you can actually send it back to the home base. Um, there's random manual, I haven't played around with yet, but I guess you can actually control where it goes. Oh, that's nice. That's something that I didn't like about the Roomba when I had mine, is that it just would keep cleaning the same area. Yeah. Um, and it does seem to be a little more intelligent than our Roomba, but our Roomba is kind of old. Um, and then there's settings, which is just telling you um, some information about it. I wonder what that, the suction slash water is. Can it mop too? I don't, I don't think so, but. I guess you can just adjust the suction power on it. Yeah. If it was on like sensitive surface, you could put it on a timer. Uh, it looks pretty easy. You repeat it once or every yeah. like, days of the week. Then you can also, looks like you have a record. You can keep records of when it cleaned if you wanted to know that much. That's if you can't find the device, I guess. Oh. Oh, beeps. Oh, yeah, so that's cool. It. That's pretty cool. How do you get it to stop now? <laughs> <laughs> Not so cool. You can also like connect it to your Alexa or Google Assistant, um, which I think you just have to click in and then link the account. And yeah. It gives full instructions on how to do that. So, so, but you think probably it just will, you can say, turn it on or something. And it's not necessarily like, hey, Mushu, or I have a Mushu run along the floor or along the wall. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Common commands. So you can turn off. Turn on. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming it's similar to other smart devices. Where you could. The same thing with Google Assistant. It gives extensive instructions on how to link them. Yeah. It just kind of gives a generic. Okay Google. Yeah. Type of thing. So. That's still uh, nice though. If you like. You can think about it while you're doing something else and say it. Yeah. Well, like you were saying, if your phone isn't home and Amy wants to operate it, that's why I was curious about that. Yeah, she would. I would imagine she could still turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. Um, at the very least, so. Okay. Looks like the remote. Like, if you didn't want to download the app or you don't have a smartphone or something like that, you can also use the remote to do a lot of the things that Kirk was showing us on the app. So, for example, this is going to be the one if you want it to go along the walls or the spot cleaning, the turbo. I don't know what full go is, but all of that is covered in the instruction manual. So those are options as well if you don't want to do the app, which is kind of where I am a lot of times. I don't really care for apps um, because of my age, I think. My sister and brother-in-law are obviously helping me with this review because we're at their house and... So my sister said, you know, you should show what it picked up during the little unbox unboxing footage. So you can see it has all the dog and cat hair on that side and then kind of like debris and hair on this side. Oh, this is interesting. It leaves like a little, 
lots of dust. There you go. All right, guys, that wraps up our unboxing video for the Mushu MT720. Please let me know what questions or concerns you want me to address in the final product review video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a, it a thumbs up. Helps our channel grow and helps me bring you more videos like this in the future. We'll see you next time.